Hey there, Christina M. Hooper here. I am super excited because I have the pleasure of introducing you to a astounding woman who has been able to create this work from home lifestyle using her own skills. And I would love to share her story. Thank you. How about you? I'm doing wonderful. I am so glad that I get this opportunity to be able to um, hear you share your story and how you have been able to create your own work from home lifestyle mm -hmm. and um, and thrive. Mm -hmm. So could you, first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. So, um, so everyone, I'm Patrice Davis and I am the owner of Grant Works Consulting, Grant's Worth Consulting. Started the company um, back in January of 2020 after working in uh, grant management and grant compliance for a number of years. I actually started out in the marketing space and um, because a lot of work from home opportunities weren't available at that particular time, I decided to work part-time instead and shifted from marketing to working in the nonprofit space, use those transferable skills to manage government grants. Um, but when I worked in marketing, I did everything around marketing campaign management. So I was able to take all of that um, experience in managing details and budgets to the grant space. Um, and so, you know, that's a, a quick overview of um, my experience. I'm also a mom of three. Um, they're all young adults now, but um, yeah, I, you know, I've been able to um, figure out how to make some changes when needed to accommodate my needs and my family's needs. So Patrice, what, what made you decide to finally make that transi transition to start your own business? Yeah, so I decided to do it because, I, well, I've always known I was going to start a business. I've had a few attempts in the past, but this one made it through because I finally decided that there are organizations and businesses that are willing to pay for the expertise that I have to offer. So over those years that I worked in the nonprofit space, um, I, you know, different kinds of nonprofits, large and small, I learned how to basically manage complex government grants and all of the compliance that's required. And organizations, typically those that are either emerging or even large established organizations are looking for people with my expertise. So I decided, well, I have it rather than just use it to benefit the company um, and, and not, you know, why not just use it for my own business? And so I decided to launch a consulting business and that was one of the best decisions I've ever made. So I, I noticed that there's that, that moment where you, and that was, it was like that for me, where you realize that you've been working, you know, in the corporate world, mm -hmm. having the skills, and mm -hmm. then you realize, Hey, you know what? I could actually do this mm -hmm. for myself mm -hmm. and cut off that middleman and have my exactly. own clientele. Exactly. So, um, what were those struggles like in the beginning, like when you were getting started, mm -hmm. did you come across these things or maybe imposter syndrome in the beginning mm -hmm. um, that a lot of people face when they're making that transition? Yeah. So imposter syndrome is one of them. Um, even though, you know, it's funny because you can be really confident in your skills, right? Like, you know, what you bring to the table, you know, that you can help clients solve whatever challenges they bring. Right. But that imposter syndrome um, is something that you still have to deal with because now you're offering your services directly. Removing that middleman now means you can't hide behind an employer. Now you're presenting yourself as the product, as the service. So you have to be, you really kind of have to check into what you really think about, um, you know, the value that you offer, not just as a company, but as a person. So you have to check in with that. And that is something that I dealt with definitely. I would say another struggle was making sure I could find clients, right? So 
Um, I knew that there were companies and organizations out there that out there, but finding them was, was, you know, was certainly a, a challenge, especially since I started the business in January, 2020. Um, so as we all know, you know, by March, a lot of things were changing in the world. So I would probably add that as my third challenge. Um, things were changing so rapidly that, you know, I had to take a couple of pivots and, um, and so, you know, those are three of the struggles. Um, and then of course I would say um, four and five are making sure I chose the right pricing, pricing appropriately, not undercharging. Um, and, you know, a lot of us can test and uh, can attest to undercharging. And, and then also maybe the fifth um, is, um, you know, just, uh, just figuring out how to engage with a prospective client or even an actual client. So those I would say are my five, were the five challenges. Um, but thankfully, you know, two and a half years in, I've overcome those. Wonderful. So mm -hmm. where is like, where is your business now? Like where, like, where did you start and where, and where like over these few years or a couple of years, where, like, where is it now? Oh, wow. So, wow. So I, I a lot. <laughs> so, you know, January, 2020, no clients, no leads, no templates, uh, no idea how to be a consultant, not even sure what a consultant was. I knew what one was because I worked with them when I used to hire them when I worked in corporate, um, cause of course I worked in corporate and the nonprofit space. I was a nonprofit executive as well. So starting from zero um, revenue, zero clients, zero employees to now I am, you know, I have a staff, a small staff of an executive assistant. I have worked with a number of long-term contractors. Uh, I now have systems in place. Um, so we're rolling out a new um, CRM system. We have, you know, I work with a, a financial management company that, um, handles a lot of the financial reporting for me. So I don't have to do that anymore. I used to have to create the invoices, resend invoices if a client forgot to pay or was, was late on payments. So thankfully there's a financial management company that handles that. I have an executive assistant, as I mentioned before, that's now handling a lot of the things that one would need one to do. So we have a really great um, working relationship that is growing. Um, I'm really, really happy and proud about the fact that I am able to hire a number of freelancers and pay them. And a lot of them look like me, not all of them, a lot of them look like me. I am really, really happy to be able to say that, you know, the revenue that I bring in is, uh, allows me to find, you know, really professional um, um, freelancers of all types that um, deliver the goods and I'm able to pay them um, and I pay them um, a fair price. So my final point on that is I'm working with uh, researchers. I'm working with folks who can, you know, really help me uh, in terms of designing, you know, a lot of my online um, assets. And then of course, uh, you know, freelance grant writers, freelance, um, uh, you know, instructional designers, it goes on and on and on. So it started from zero to being able to, to create sort of like a, um, and I'll end by saying I'm creating sort of a, um, a little world that's around my company and I'm able to kind of keep all the moving parts um, together and working in unison. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I know that you have, you do have an ebook that taught, like that tells your story. Could you mm -hmm. talk a little bit about that? There is a link down in the description box that you can take a look and you can download it for free to learn more about our story. But could you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Yeah. So the ebook, it's um, how I launched um, and, and grew and forgive me for that time, basically uh, how I launched a multi six figure consulting company. Um, and so it details all the steps that that um, I, you know, summarized in our discussion. Um, so it it provides you step by step with, you know, you know, number one, how I found the target market, the mindset changes I had to go through to help get rid of that imposter syndrome. Because guys, it really is real. Uh, it's a real thing. Um, number three, uh, you know, you, how to set up systems. Number four, how to make sure that I was pricing according to the value of my services as opposed to the time devoted to actually, you know, create, or I'm sorry, to actually deliver the deliverable. Um, and it can really help people put themselves in my, in my place and see how they could, they themselves can 
um, go from having, again, no clients, no leads to actually launching their own consulting company. I mean, it's called how I, you know, launched a, and how I built a multi six figure consulting company. But quite frankly, any person who wants to launch an online company of almost any kind can use it because it can be applied in so many different contexts. Wonderful. So mm -hmm. I know that now that you have reached your goals, that's something that you're very passionate about, right? You're able mm -hmm. to um, not only create your own business, it's mm -hmm. saying you, you're able to hire freelancers mm -hmm. and provide them the ability to make their own money. But mm -hmm. now you're actually teaching other people on how to become a consultant as well. Could you tell yes. us a little bit about like what, like what is a consultant and how sure. you're able to um, maybe take what you've done and, and support those that want to become a consultant? Absolutely. So a, a consultant, and I'm going to give you a brief description. So basically a consultant is a person who's an expert in a particular space or a particular um, solution or, uh, or even a particular industry altogether. They are able to basically apply the skills and the knowledge they've learned over the years, maybe in different working environments to actually deliver services that are solutions for, uh, you know, companies and organizations. So, um, so for example, my company grants works consulting, we actually deliver a, a number of grant related solutions to organizations and companies. Um, and, you know, so that's just one example using my company as example. Mm -hmm. We then, because I learned all of these things over the last, two and a half years, I decided to launch uh, Ready, Set, Go Consult. Ready, Set, Go Consult is an online program that takes a person who wants to enter the online, the, the consulting space, who wants to become an independent consultant from A to Z. I, you know, basically walk them through identifying their target market, thinking through the services they want to offer. I mean, I really help them nail that down and really, really think that through. Um, we actually help them walk through what the pricing uh, standards are and, and help them determine what's the best price for the three or four services. And we definitely want to encourage folks to focus on three to four services at a max. Um, and there's a reason for that. And we explain that in the course. Um, it also includes, you know, live coaching with me. So it's an eight week program. I wanted to make sure that everyone understand that it's an eight week program. It includes the training and of course, live coaching with me. It is group coaching. Um, and we walk through all of the exercises, um, just to make sure everybody's meeting, uh, you know, you know, basically meeting the um, the requirements each week, and then by the end of the eighth week, they're able to launch their business. So we help them develop proposals, uh, mock proposals for mock clients, but those mock clients are really based on organizations and businesses that they know are actually, um, you know, targets for the services they want to offer. And uh, so it's, it's really quite a bit that we cover in an eight week period. I call it an intensive or boot camp mm -hmm. because it really is because again, you go from zero to having, you know, to being able to launch um, a, a, your consulting business by the eighth week, by the way, that sixth or seventh week, we actually, um, help that person identify what the requirements are to actually establish a business in their state so that by the end of the eighth week, they really do have a business, right? It's not just you have a business in your head. You actually have a business because you've actually done the work to figure out what are the, what the requirements, requirements are for your state. And, um, you know, of course, the great thing about it is that once the eight weeks are up and you still want to work with me, I'm going to, of course, still be available to help them through a lot of the growing pains that I experienced when I launched um, and grew my consulting business. Wonderful. Like that is, that's so amazing. And what I really love is how you're taking the skills that, you already know like I know mm -hmm. a lot of times like I speak about that about how it's important to hone in on what your own experience is mm -hmm. leverage that right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and use that in your own work from home business it makes it easier to make that transition and have that confidence with the skills that you actually have so I am this is so amazing I so appreciate you taking your time to tell us about your yeah. story making yeah. that transition and actually living that work from home lifestyle which mm -hmm. a lot of us um, they hope, like hope to achieve. So mm -hmm. I appreciate you taking this time, Patrice. Thank you so much. 
Um, you can go ahead and find all of her information down below this video. If you want her free ebook that tells more about her story and how she did it, go ahead and download it for free down below. And um, if you like this video, definitely go ahead and hit that button mm -hmm. and also share it. Share mm -hmm. this video if you are looking to build that consulting business and also transition to work from home. So thank you so much, Patrice. I hope you have thank a wonderful you. day. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.